Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are all having a great day today. Today, we have planned to stay home. <laughs> that is just such a treat. I love it when I have days where I get to just stay home all day long and just try to get all the things done. The only thing that we do have planned to do today is to go to a rafters baseball game tonight, and that is not until 7.05. And so we have the whole day ahead of us. You just saw that I finally, it's 11 o'clock right now, I just got the food into the crock pot. This is that brand new recipe I've never tried before. Thank you to Jody. I don't know if she watches these videos, but I have had this recipe for years and I'm finally making it and I'm hoping that everybody's going to love it. Um, yeah, I'll put the recipe in the description box below for you guys. So today I am going to get out and work in the garden. I'm going to do some uh, cleaning around home. I don't know what it looks like in the background right now back there. It really doesn't look that bad, but um, if you got up close and personal, you'd see that there are a lot of little messes all over the house, and we really, really need to attend to that. If you are new here, I am Jennifer. This channel is called A Country Life, and that is really what you are going to see here, our country life. I am a cranberry farmer's wife, and we have seven children, two are adults, and they have already moved on. One is married, one is uh, finishing up with school. I don't think I've been very open about this, but our son is going into law enforcement, so he does have, uh, he's graduated from college, but he does have the academy to go through, and that is gonna be happening soon. What else can I tell you about this channel? We also homeschool our children, so if we have seven and two are moved away, we do the math, we have five still here. We homeschool all five of them, and one of them, our 10-year-old, he happens to have Down syndrome. I love to share about that experience. I also love to share food because we have a whole lot of that going on in the house. And on top of just eating a lot of food, I like to cook. I like to talk about cooking, I like to talk about food. So I share a lot of that here, gardening, and like I said, we're cranberry farmers. So I share all kinds of videos on cranberry farming and just kind of like what it's all about and what it looks like, the behind the scenes to all those little uh, red berries that you guys buy in the store. I hope you're buying them. You guys are, right? Okay, let me know. Uh, head on over to the community tab and let me know if you are buying cranberries in the store. Do you buy juice, sweet and dried? Have you tried Honestly Cranberry? Those are unsweetened dried cranberries. Fresh cranberries in your area, do they have them frozen? We don't usually find them frozen in our area, but I have seen it on other YouTube channels that people have bought frozen cranberries actually. I love yellow legal pads and so today I want to till the garden. I need to clean the laundry spot. It just needs a good deep down. I'd also like to clean the walls in the laundry area. We have wood walls and yeah, they are, they are dusty. I said, I reminded myself no electronics today. I'm not going to send emails. I am not going to um, respond to comments today. I am just going to, uh, we're going to put a star next to that one. I am just going to get it all done. Um, I do have to film today and I do have to drag Joe in from outside to collect the dirty laundry so I can start doing that. I want to wash and wax the hardwood floor and I need to scrub the stovetop. I've been doing a lot of just quick wipe downs on the stovetop, but I haven't actually taken the grates off in a while. So I really, really have to get to that. I have some fruit to attend to today and dishes to attend to and just all the things, all right? So I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna get working and see what I can accomplish. I am full of questions for you guys today, so you're going to have to keep a list so you don't forget all the things I want you to talk to me about over on the community tab. Um, I have never had good luck with using the drying cycle on the dishwasher, and so we always have to dry the dishes. Today we set it for a normal wash with the dry cycle. The light went off now, and I opened it up expecting to see dry dishes. This is glass. It is actually dry, but I mean, water and water, and there is some water there. Pretty much everything is still wet. So I'm just wondering if you guys have any tips on using the dry cycle. Is it just my dishwasher, or am I doing something wrong, or maybe the dry cycles just don't tend to work. 
Well, we can't put this cleaning thing off any longer, so here I am just quick putting the cushions back on from one of the forts that the kids had made, and then it's time to head over to that bookcase because that needs a lot of tender loving care. The kids have a tendency to put the books on sideways and spines in, and I just like it to look a little bit more like a library. I load up that box full of Maria's stuff and I kick that out of the way, and then I head on over and I need to go through the DVDs because boy, Joe has a bunch of those out. Peter and Maria come in and they're like, hey mom, what are you doing? And I said, perfect timing kids. You guys need to put away all of your stuff. So while I go through the farm papers to see what needs to be recycled, Maria loads up her t-shirt full of all her little trinkets. Warren stops in for a drink of water and I said, hey, do you think you could fix the Mancala board? And he did. Now that the living room floor is all tidied up, well, except for whatever that yellow thing is underneath the couch, it's time to get some vacuuming. So with the living room all put together, it was time to get out into the porch bathroom and start to sort laundry. I noticed there was a bunch of shoes that needed to have some uh, sand removal done, so I do that. And then I go on to sorting clothes because Joe had collected the dirty laundry for me. Wait for it. Wait for it. A folded shirt. I love that. I give it a quick sniff test. So my list tells me that I need to film the Dollar Tree haul today, and so I get everything lined up on the table to do that. Earlier in the day, I actually got my Dollar Tree haul filmed, the one where my mom had taken me out for my birthday, and so maybe you guys saw that already, but here are those little, little, um, 4th of July buntings or swags, and so I headed down to the garden to put that together. I was just looking in the shop for more, uh, what are, not twist ties, but what are, zip ties, and I couldn't find anything, because Warren knows his shop better than I do. Do you have some zip ties? Yeah. I need three. Unless you have longer ones, then I would only need two. I only have a few, because I gave that small container to so I'm back for round two, putting on the second swag. I wasn't able to get matching zip ties, but that's okay. I don't think anybody's gonna notice. And truth be told, these are pretty cheaply made, so I'm not really sure how long they're gonna last. I hear a bunch of ruckus going on over by the horse barn, so I head over there to see what is going on. And it looks like we're having a garage sale, but no, I think Amber just I don't know if she just saw me cleaning or what spurred it on, but she just decided she needed to get out to the horse barn and do some organizing. So as you can see, they're out there. Oh, yep, Peter found a mouse nest and he's showing that off to me, telling me all about where he found it. I take a peek around inside Amber's tack room and boy, she has it all cleaned out, her ribbons all in a row. And here she is just trying to put together some bridal pieces going to try English writing this year and so that's all new for her. After that it's time to get back into the house and try to tackle this list. So far I don't think I've done a whole lot on the list but this is one of those things I had to do. So I'm just using my O Cedar spray mop. It's super easy. Up where my left hand is there there's just a little sprayer and it just sprays the solution and you can put any kind of solution. You could do a vinegar solution here I'm using pine saw. Uh, I've used like a spring scented Lysol. I really like that one. But I really wanted the pine saw, just something that could kind of cut the grease because the kitchen floor really, really needs. Before moving on, I needed to rinse the pad. I don't have multiple pads, although it is something on my list eventually to get, but it's it's easy enough to just quick rinse the pad before moving on. So the plan for today was to also get the floor polish down and I do eventually get part of the floor done today. My battery dies so I'm not able to show you that I get it done but after this floor dries I do actually get a small portion of the floor um, polished and that takes about 30 minutes to dry on a dry day. Today was slightly humid so it did take probably about an hour but that was okay. We were able to just um, stay outside and do some other things in the meantime. So the day is winding down and I am looking over my list here and I'm seeing that uh, no, no, no. Failed at that one too. I did film that Dollar Tree haul. Yes, I did 
two loads of laundry even folded, put it away. And yes, we did get the hardwood floor washed and I have half of it waxed. So I'm that's a good thing. I'm pleased with that. Nope, did not do that. And nope, did not do that. So some days are just kind of like that where I have this list going of all the things that I want to get done and I was moving all day long but it just felt like I kept finding other things like after filming the Dollar Tree haul I ended up you know of course I had to put all this stuff away which then led me out to the schoolroom at one point so then I started looking through some of the stuff in the schoolroom and I got kind of sidetracked there then I went down by my garden in the front Yes, nice writing, Peter. Mm -hmm. Peter's keeping track of books for the library program. So he's got his sheet all there and just keeping track of all the books that he reads. So, you know, I got a lot done today, but at the same time, I don't feel like I did because, like I said, so many of the things weren't even on my list. But that's all right. I'm just going to transfer the things that I didn't get done. I'll transfer them to tomorrow's list. I'm hoping that tomorrow is... Pretty much a home day, I think. Yes, I'm thinking about it. And yes, I think it'll be pretty much a home day, which will be nice. Um, and I'll just do that. Like vacuuming, that wasn't on the list. I didn't think I was going to be doing that. And I didn't think I was going to wash all the dishes by hand because what happened? I don't even know. Anyway, if you feel like your day is getting off track, sometimes just looking back and going, yeah, but I did do that, and I did do that, and I did take time out to stop over at the sand pile and see what Joe was doing, and yes, I did do that, and I did do that. So all in all, it turned out to be a good day. I'm just going to end with putting down some of the floor polish in the dining room side here and getting some of that done. And then tonight, after the baseball game and after everything, everybody is in bed, then I'm going to do the center section where we walk the most and... Um, that's it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this day, uh, just kind of cleaning and cooking and just whatever was happening. Look, the garbage is still up on top of the stove. I will also give you a quick little look at the hot dish. Now, I think in the future that I would not put the cheese on because even on low, and now for the last hour it's been on warm, um, actually longer than an hour, probably the last two hours it's been on warm, I think this outer cheese just got a little too done for my liking. I mean, honestly, I think that's just going to have to be cut away. But, um, yeah, next time I think I'll hold off on the cheese. It smells really good. I'm hoping that it tastes really good. And then we cut up that watermelon. That, again, was not on my list, but I got that done. And I think that that's going to be it for the day.